What is up guys? Ashley here with another project here to show you how I created this DIY zinc flower pot. Let's get it. So really excited to share this project because I've been wanting to try this zinc solution for a long time. I'm talking about it's been sitting in my house for a year. So super excited to try it out and show you guys. This zinc solution is made by Amy Howard at home and I'll have all the details in the links in my blog post so just check it out below. So the first thing I did is just pour a little solution into this little red cup and then just started wiping on the pail bucket. When you first start wiping on the solution you'll notice that the pail bucket doesn't really change colors but don't worry just keep wiping it on and eventually the bucket will turn into the zinc color. I wiped in the zinc solution for about 10 minutes and I really could tell that it made a huge difference. Once I applied about two coats of the zinc solution I let it dry for about five minutes and then I just put on one additional coat to make it darker. The more you apply the zinc solution the darker the pail gets. After letting that dry for about 25 minutes, I started putting the tape on to paint my stripes. You can do whatever design you'd like um, because it is your pale bucket. It's your prerogative. But yeah, do what you want, guys. It's your thing. Once the stripes were taped on, I used a roller to roll the paint in. Um, there's no particular reason why I used a roller. Really, it was only because I couldn't find my paintbrush. Um, but I would probably use a paintbrush to begin with. Um, at the end of this project, I actually did find it. So you see me using the paintbrush here. And now for the most satisfying part, taking off the tape. Um, as you can see, I had a little bleeding because I didn't um, push down the tape as well in the ridges. So if you're doing this project, make sure when you put the tape on the ridges that you um, press it down good so you don't get any bleed through. Um, and once I did one side, I flipped it over and did the other side. So since I'll be potting this plant, I wanted to add some holes to the bottom um, for drainage. So to do that, I'm using my Makita impact driver with a brushless motor coupled with the Bosch carbide drill bit. These drill bits are used for multi-purpose applications. They can drill tile, masonry, wood, metal, and concrete. So they got the job done. And that is it. I really love how this DIY zinc flower pot turned out and I'm super excited to um, try it on some more pails. If you enjoyed this project, please don't forget to smash that like button. And for more projects, tutorials, and more, check out handmade-shade. Later, guys.